Activists to the left of Governor Gavin Newsom have been watching, and they don't like what they see. We're here today for this press conference to call on Governor Newsom to be the people's governor and not pg es governor. They watched Newsom win office with more than $200,000 of pg e campaign money. Three days after the election, they watched pg e burn down paradise, which led to 85 felony convictions. Then they watched the governor sign AB 1054, the law that bailed pg e out of bankruptcy. That law is why the Reclaim Our Power group set up this Zoom call. At issue today is what we're calling pg es license to burn. Here's what they mean. Arson investigators recently announced PG&E sparked the Dixie Fire, burning almost a million acres last year. They don't think it was innocent. They forwarded it to prosecutors for possible criminal charges. Even so, PG&E is already planning to take $150 million out of a state insurance fund to help pay for the damage of the Dixie Fire. PG&E gets to tap that fund because last year it had this, an official state safety certificate created by AB 1054, that law Governor Gavin Newsom not only signed, but which our investigation shows his office paid to have written. These activists were lobbying the governor to reject this year's safety certificate for PG&E before next week's deadline. We have requested a meeting with Governor Newsom and his lead staff um, uh, is going to meet with us next week. But unbeknownst to them, the Newsom administration had already quietly approved PG&E's safety certificate. Just before the meeting, we found it on the administration's website. That is news to us um, uh, and terrible, terrible news. The group is calling on Newsom to reconsider. We also want you, Governor Newsom, to, to take care of, of holding accountable the biggest arsonist in the state that's setting those fires, which is PG&E. Meantime, an update on this. The trustee for PG&E's 70,000 victims, Governor, says that your bill left them out. How do you respond? Governor Newsom walked away last year when we asked about PG&E's settlement with past wildfire victims. They were paid partly in shares of PG&E stock, which was never worth as much as advertised. Today, that became official. The victim's trust fund sold its first shares for $80 million less than the amount victims were told to expect. In